You're probably wondering at this point, why has the Delta variant not been dealt with yet? Well, it's because the TVA have Loki to deal with first. That was the worst joke I've ever made in my whole life. Hi, hello everyone, I am Maria Allenby and welcome back to Internet Cringe. A weekly series I do what I go over a few of the topics that have happened on the internet recently and to begin with we have a side piece, Matt Hancock's side piece. So let me get this straight, Matt Hancock gets a wife and a sidebird and the last interaction I have with a woman, she's laughing straight at my face, nice one. So Matt Hancock, the health secretary, he's a married man, he's got kids. And when you're in the public office, I can't imagine an affair would be a good thing to, you know, do. In fact, it's not even good to do when you're not in public office, but in public office it seems like it would have much worse consequences, but that didn't seem to phase Matt. Or his friend Gina Congaldello Glow Piss. Yeah, that's a very hard name to say, but nevertheless... She and Matt are friends, and very recently Matt got caught in 4K tonguing down her throat on CCTV. Today on Sentences I'm Never Saying Again. And you want to know the most ironic part about all this? Matt himself discouraged people not already in a relationship from having intercourse during lockdown. So that makes two government officials who are just completely unable to follow their own rules. The first being Dominic Cummings, who took a 264 mile journey despite saying no travel. Of course, you can bet your ass that this has caused a wide range of controversy. You know, man's went and cheated on his own wife, he broke his own rules, and now there are people out there calling him to resign, there are people out there defending him, and then of course there's the real R&B. It's just left wondering how in God's name Matt Hancock got two birds before he got one. Right, I just noticed this during editing, Matt Hancock has now resigned, so... Cheers. So it's a trend to be nice to men now. So TikTok got itself a new trend and as with most trends it's a bit shit, mainly because it comes at the expense of other people and in this case it's people who have cocks. The trend details a girl texting a man telling him that he's pretty and seeing his reaction. Now at first glance this does seem a bit wholesome but that is until you realise that it's a trend and that's it. The creator of the video could mean nothing by her compliment and I can't imagine that would be, you know, a very good thing for the man's mental health. I know it would be for mine, if a girl literally used me as a source to get her likes and views. And uh, the compliment she gave me, which I probably would have very much believed in, was fake. And there's clear evidence of me believing it in front of the whole internet. Do you know how humiliating that would be? And the fact that it is humiliating should speak volumes about how this trend is so fucking terrible. And the worst part is some of the girls that do this are probably one of them people who post men's mental health things on their stories for Instagram. And that means that they probably don't properly mean it because they're using men's mental health as a source to get themselves used. Not good. Not at all. To call Ice Cube, today was not a good day. Actually that's not what he said. He said today was a good day, but um, it just hasn't been for me. Literally all I've discussed today is guys getting absolute girls and here I am still struggling to build up the confidence to speak to a woman. Seriously, the only time I actually manage to strike up a conversation with a girl is she comes to me first. And it's not to like, you know, get to know me or anything, it's to ask me for a mint. Because I carry mints. Because... I like my breath smelling good. But back on topic, these twins got engaged to the same man and will share babies. They consider themselves to be one person. Well holy shit, there's already a fuckload to unpack here. First off, how exactly do you share a baby? Are you gonna cut the baby out of one mother and then put it in the other mother? Let the fetus fuck about for a couple weeks and then just swap it round? I imagine that's gonna be a very confusing and hard to do process considering it's never been done before. Or are you going to raise it together? I, I sincerely hope it's going to be the latter. Second off, who in God's name would agree to this? If two people are engaged to the same person, that's bound to cause a load of fights. With one wife fighting the other wife over the husband, the husband disagreeing with the wives, and all members of the family have agreed to this, they're all going to come to the wedding of three people. Oh, we're Americans. Oh, and third off, mad respect to the guy. Man's got two wives now. Long days home from work, so about to be so rewarding. 
But with all that out of the way, that is the end of this video. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. All my socials will be linked down below. Follow them all will be greatly appreciated. Hitting the like, subscribe and notification button is also greatly appreciated. And I hope to see you all again. And like I always say, if I do see you again, it's when I see you again. Bye bye.